Number one, when uh, when there was a problem at JKI last time when there was power blackout, Kipchumba Murkom and uh, really rushed and fired uh, the MD for JKIA. And uh, the other day that there was a leaking roof at JKIA, he should have fired himself, but he didn't do so. Instead, he's just trying to tell us the amount of money he's spending in buying shoes. One shoes for Kipchumba Murkom and can build how many houses or can pay rent for how many aslas in Kibra or in Soweto. The belt for the president alone, which has been bought using the housing levy so far that was stolen. We were telling you people when you were campaigning that our to the ways. Babu Owino, member of parliament. Sorry, I'm Dr. Babu Owino. <laughs> I was forgetting my title. <laughs> this is not even PR, my brother. This is Dr. Babu Owino. PR in what you are you talk. Dr. Babu Owino, member of parliament in Bakasi East constituency. We came here today at exactly 8.30 a.m and we are leaving here around 5 a.m. We've waited for our case to be prosecuted by the office of the DPP, which to us is a failure because as at the morning hours, we were informed that the DPP had six witnesses which were already bonded, who were ready to testify against us. We were told to come back at 2 p.m. and of all the six witnesses, only one was available to testify. And I want to, te to tell the DPP that he should not be on a fishing expedition, should not be in a rush with an intention to convict innocent Kenyans. We, the accused persons, we are seven in number and can tell the public clearly that we are innocent before the law. And today, we've seen sufficient proof, evidence, <coughs> by all the witnesses disappearing from court. I don't know if the, if the police officers went to celebrate the judgment of the court. That is the judgment that was declared unconstitutional on the housing levy. And we want to tell the DPP never to bring such limping cases against us again. A case without the legs nor the hands. A case that is limping. And this is a waste of the judicial time. If we can spend time from morning to here, have a constitutional mandate and a constitutional duty to discharge. From morning up to now, haven't even received any of my constituents' phone call haven't attended to them because I've been in court from morning to now. So this is a shame, and the DPP should move with utmost speed, maximum speed, and withdraw this limping case. That's all I want to state, and I would like to invite uh, Gaucho to say a word.